I want to talk a little bit about um, self-esteem, psychology, um, everything in life is about psychology. And it's no accident that the word used in the Bible for soul is the Greek word psyche. Our psyche is our soul. And our soul is what generates the life, the soul consciousness. And the saying goes, where the mind goes, the body follows, is so true. I remember when I was not in a divine mindset when I was a Christian and I misunderstood my earthly existence to be a mistake, to be a curse. Um, the mindset that I held and the because I was um, living from an identity of being flawed, being a curse, um, I kind of let myself go physically. Um, the mentality that was driving me was that the body wasn't important and that this earth life was a curse. And so I did not care about my physical being and the appearance and all that. And so uh, I lost some things that I cannot <laughs> regain now because of that neglect. But I'm just pointing that out. Everything is tied to our psychological identity. If we identify our humanness as flawed or cursed, uh, and not the ideal is going to show and uh, it's going to lead to physical detriment and early death. So having a healthy identity, self-identity is so important to setting the course of how we are going to experience this life, how we're going to experience the afterlife. It is all tied to our psyche, the soul consciousness. And that's the uh, creative principle of God's source. It's the consciousness, soul consciousness. So, People tend to judge and criticize me for um, emphasizing so much what seems to be self-glory, glorying in self. If you are not glorying in self, and I'm, I'm referring to the divine self, the, uh, the identity as the divine, divinity, not the, I'm not talking about the wounded ego self that uh, causes us so much suffering and pain and uh, discomfort in this life. I'm talking about our div divine identity. People don't like when I self-glory in, in my wonderful divine identity. But your body cannot thrive if you do not exercise self-glory, and it's not vain glory, it is healthy. Um, it's healthy to your physical being when you appreciate the glory, when you appreciate your human being, your physical um, vehicle, and your physical makeup. It it thrives 
in that glory. And uh, I have been the participant in both aspects and I know what it has, how it has affected me. So to have self-glory and self-esteem and self-care and self-love is not an evil, wicked thing. It is only perceived as evil and wicked if we are looking through our personal filter, negative filter, that distorts everything. Why would God be upset if we self-loved, if we gave ourselves attention and gave ourselves the highest and utmost of care and love? Why would God be upset? That would be a narcissist trait in, uh, in the supreme being, and that can never be. But what we are seeing are our own projections of our own condition that we project upon God. And it's our own jealousy, our own disapproval um, for that which we're not experiencing in our own self. So out of this jealousy, we, we criticize uh, that which is different in other people that's different from us if their experience is different from us and that and doesn't validate our experience we tend to criticize and cut it down 